This guy, Dante, he needs a professional groomer. But you know what? He also loves to roll in the goose poop and get into all kinds of messes, which I can rinse him off in my own house and my sink. But what if he was bigger? What if I needed a place to take him to clean him in between grooms? That's one of the reasons why having a self-serve pet wash in your business is a good thing. <laughs> But there are cons to having a self-serve pet wash. It could be very messy. You might think that you need extra staff. It's gonna bring a lot of noise, howling dogs, blow dryers. The dogs are gonna get water everywhere all over your business. And I know you're wondering, will anyone use it? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you what self-wash is, ways to run one, and the benefits of offering it as a service in your pet business, how much money you can make, and some critical things to consider so that you feel confident adding this potential revenue stream to your business because it truly can be big business. Coming up with a new revenue stream to make money is not only a reason to consider adding a pet wash station to your existing business, but there are other benefits like attracting new clients and having something that brings in repeat customers on a regular basis. And it's not just great for you, it's great for the customers too because they can leave the mess with you instead of in their homes. Hi, my name's Candace Daniolo and I help business owners in the pet industry start growing profit so that they can grow their businesses, reclaim their life and keep making an impact at the same time. And before I share all about dog self washes as a revenue stream for either a new business or an existing pet business, I wanna make sure that you download one or both of my free guides in the description below to help you get started in the pet industry or to help you grow your existing pet business no matter what stage you're at. Let me first tell you what a pet self-wash is. This is where a customer comes to you to wash their dog. They stay with the dog and they get to leave the mess with you. You provide everything that they need, the water, the shampoo, the towels, the blow dryer, the brushes, and they go home with a clean dog. This is less expensive than a full groom for the customer and it gives them an option maybe in between grooms or for dogs that don't need a professional groomer. This is also a great service to offer, especially after people take their dogs on long muddy walks or play times at the dog beach or if you're like Dante and have a dog who rolls in goose poop. And what's great about taking a dog somewhere else to do the wash is that, that you can as a pet parent buy extra treats and goodies for your pet after it's all over. Here are some ways to run a self wash. There's more than one. You could start with just one tub, either one tub that's off to the side or in its own room. Or you could have multiple tubs or an entire storefront and business model full of self-wash stations. Maybe you put one outside your business or even at a dog park or a parking lot where it's completely enclosed in its own box and container or shed. And it could have access through key codes or once people make a payment, those pre-manufactured containers exist. Or maybe it's wide out in the open and it's just for warmer weather months. There are self-wash machines that exist that can run completely by themselves. They accept credit cards, and they pump out exactly the right amount of shampoo and conditioner needed. So you don't need any staff to attend those. Or you could provide a more of a white glove service where you assist a customer to get them started and maybe even throughout the wash. There are so many positives to having a dog wash, self-wash service in your business because so many dogs are actually just being washed at home who are not using a professional groomer. And there's no reason that you can't tap into that customer base, okay? Don't miss out on that business because a self-wash is a great way to find new customers, to bring them into your doors, and then to turn them on to your other products and services. So even if you know it's not going to be a big part of your business, it can help attract to other parts of your business. Second, you could sell monthly memberships and create an automated recurring revenue stream just through your self-wash tubs. And if this recession hits or when things change for a customer financially, this is an option for them to stay a customer of yours and maybe shift from grooming or stretch their grooming appointments out to save some money. And grooming clients, they actually might even consider bringing their dogs in in between grooms, or you can even start a bath club specific for this service for your grooming clients and offer to do it for them. You have the tubs. Overall, this is an extra revenue stream that has very low costs to get started 
and low cost to maintain. Plus, it's a great way for you to introduce other products that your customers might like, like brushes, shampoos, licky mats, treats, and you have a captive audience there who you can talk to while they're washing their dog about other services you offer or even upcoming events. All right, I wanna shift gears and talk about potential revenue. Here's how I would do the math if you're thinking about doing this. Let's just start with one tub. What hours of the day would you be open and utilizing this tub? Maybe start at 10 a.m. and the last wash is at 5 p.m. that gives you eight washes a day if the customer was given a full hour to utilize the wash and let's say the customer was given 45 minutes to utilize the self-wash and you get 15 minutes for cleanup and let's say you charge $25 one tub with eight hours that's eight dogs times 25 that gives you $200 a day that's $1,200 a week $4,800 a month at $57,600 a year times it by two tubs, 115,000. Three tubs, 172,800 dollars. So you can see here how this is an easy kind of passive potential revenue stream for you. Now I want you to play with your own numbers and hours and what you think you could charge to come up with your profit potential. I mean, I could talk and talk about self-wash tubs, but there are some key things that you need to be thinking about if you're going to go down this path. Like rules for your customers when they're actually in that room policies ahead of time like are you going to have them sign a liability waiver or show proof of vaccines will you have expectations for your employees on how they're supposed to clean the room or help customers and how will customers book their appointments or will they just walk right in how are you going to schedule these self-washes will you close them early are you going to leave time in between the booking of the appointments what supplies are you going to need like an on-site washer and dryer for towels would be amazing. And how are you gonna market this service to maximize its use and make sure that it's a profitable revenue stream for you? So once you've made a decision to build out a self-wash business, you'll be ready to grow a brand new, very easy and highly in-demand profit center for your pet business. If this at all sounds overwhelming or you have more questions, uh, you have two options. One is that you can join us in the Pet Boss Club because our members have how-to guides, templates, and trainings on exactly what to do in each of those areas I described. So if you'd like to learn more, just visit PetBossClub.com or you can keep doing it yourself and watch this video that I made for you about how to be successful in the pet industry or watch this one because YouTube thinks you'll like it. I'll see you real soon on the next video. Yeah.